BBC host Evan Davis opens up about a terrifying experience he had recently. Davis's wedding day was ruined by a heartbreaking text message he received instead of joy and celebration. Ghulam Baltz, 56, and Evan Davis, 61, got married in the Lambeth Town Hall on a typical day in July 2022. Shortly after the ceremony, his brother Roland sent him a text message requesting a phone call. He reached out, dreading the words, Dad's died. Evan's dad, Quentin Davis, lived a long and productive life, and he died at age 92. But as age and illness took their toll, he made the agonizing choice to end his own life. All three of Quentin's sons were on board with his decision because he had told them about it a year before. Both a thank you letter and a were left behind, the latter of which explained how he wanted his own space and was content to trust his own judgment about when to end his life. Fearless in the face of his company, even Davis broke the news. He tried to reassure them by saying that his father's passing was to be expected and that they should still have the party he had always wanted to throw. The Dragon's Den host recently revealed that his late father wrote a letter on the day he died, in which he said, on the verge of mental breakdown, i.e., I am going mad and physically falling apart. According to his writing, Quinton says, really no alternative. You and your family are beautiful. In a second note he labeled Quentin restated his intent to maintain my autonomy by taking his own life. Not any time soon, anyway. What followed was, I go because I have made up my mind to go. My success and happiness have been greatly influenced by the wonderful examples set by all of my family members. A sob escaped Davis's lips as he explained, I'm only crying because I love my dad so much. I do not feel any sadness at all. Nothing catastrophic has happened. A powerful reminder of the importance of these conversations and of seeking help when we feel emotionally overwhelmed. Even Davis's story of his struggle with depression is told in his own words. A sobering reminder that, in the grand scheme of things, our own problems are relatively trivial. The of Quentin Davis is a tragic illustration of the importance of having frank discussions about mental health. We hope this moving tale will serve as a reminder of the importance of maintaining positive mental health by encouraging us to value our relationships with others and help those in need. Even Davis, in this revealing interview, recalls the time he found out about the death of his father. His activism brings attention to the seriousness of and its effects on mental health. We share in your grief over the loss of your father, even Davis, and applaud your commitment to honoring him in this way. This touching story shows how important it is to help those in need in more ways than just the obvious ways. Anyone experiencing mental health problems or suicidal ideation should seek immediate professional assistance. Those in need can always call a hotline or visit a support group for assistance.